Hi there, this is Dan LaMaestro, and on behalf of myself and Andy and the Praise Band and all of us at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, we want to thank you for listening to our podcast offerings. With this episode, the eighth in the About the Music series, Andy and I talk about and then present a recent recording of the song Fresh Wind. Between many scripture references and several unique musical moments, we found quite a few things to talk about. We hope you enjoy it. Andy, how's it going? It's going well, Dan. How are you? I'm awesome and uh, enjoying uh, the heat of the summer. Yeah, it's back. Yeah, it's back, definitely. Um, Actually got to swim in a pool for the first time in, in many months. How about you? Uh, we went camping over Memorial Day weekend, enjoyed some colder weather, but now, really? now the heat's back. So Awesome. So everybody, this is uh, episode eight of About the Music. We're talking about a new song yeah. that, uh, that we just recorded. And for those of you listening and watching the first time, uh, uh, my name is Dan LaMaestra, and I'm the praise band director and singer. And I also do the audio here at Good Shepherd Lutheran. And Andy, why don't you tell them about yourself? Uh, I'm Andy Muick, and I'm the Director of Christian Education here at Good Shepherd. Um, So on these About the Music uh, episodes, I tackle some of the scripture and theology of the songs, and Dan is our resident expert for the music and composition. Thank you. So Fresh Wind, wow. Before we dive in, I will say uh, I really, really like this song. Yeah. And the composition, the style of it, um, the various uh, recordings that Hillsong has put out for this, uh, really, really enjoy it. And uh, I had a great time recording. Um, The music is great. The lyrics are just uh, wonderful, Uh, picturesque and and colorful. And they just the story they tell. Um, So I see that you've got some notes here, as you usually do, on a number of things. What do you think uh, would be a good place to start? You know, um, this is a new song. It's a, definitely a new song for us in our repertoire, but it's a very new song to begin with. It, this um, song was, was released, I believe, late 2020, early 2021. Um, and so uh, I, I heard it on Spotify one day, and as soon as that piano part hit at the very beginning, just that beautiful piano line, um, I was like, oh, this is good. And then the lyrics come in, and the lyrics are very much... Um, kind of a, a, a Pentecost imagery, uh, Holy Spirit, wind, breath, fire. Um, so we initially chose this for the Pentecost recording, um, our virtual recording, and for all those reasons, you know, for all those, uh, the Holy Spirit, the, the fire raining down from yes. heaven, the, the yes. breath coming in. But really the song could be kind of a, a praise anthem for 2021. You know, um, it's one of those perfect songs for this time in this place and what we're going through, not just us at Good Shepherd, but all over the world, you know, and it's kind of this collective breath of fresh air for churches after after a global pandemic, a, a kind of a message of fresh starts for for Christian communities and believers as as they emerge from quarantine and start asking those big questions like, What now, God? You know, uh, what big new things are you calling us to? Where are Mm. you leading us post-pandemic? And how can we best serve you and others and grow your kingdom here? And so introducing it at Pentecost, kind of the the birth of the Christian church, it is like this rebirth, this emerging out of what we've come through over the last year and a half or so, and, and, and really calling on the Holy Spirit to lead us into something new. Very well put. And you're not reading that. <laughs> no. Um, that sounded great. You know, and so if totally we kind of break great. down the, the, the verses here, that, that first verse, I mean, just it just hits right away. Spirit, sound, rushing wind, fire of God, fall within, Holy Ghost, breathe on us, we pray. And that's the story of Pentecost right there. You know, from Acts chapter 2, um, the, the believers are all gathered together in Jerusalem. Then all of a sudden, this, this sound like a violent rushing wind comes in. It's the Holy Spirit and the tongues of fire appear on their heads and they start speaking in these tongues. And, and the Holy Spirit is doing something 
something brand new, something completely fresh. It's a fresh wind that's entered into the hearts of the believers and, and amazing things happen after that. Um, and so that's really kind of the basis for this song. Um, and the, the verses really kind of um, uh, echo what the Holy Spirit is doing, but then the, we get to the chorus and the chorus is like our response to it. It's, uh, we need a fresh wind, the fragrance of heaven, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. Um, and uh, I couldn't find a, a, you know, a direct link um, scripturally, but it has this, this image of, of Psalm 51 for me. Um, and Psalm 51, if you're familiar with that, it's pretty, uh, pretty popular psalm. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Uphold me with a willing spirit. That's the kind of one that I grew up with knowing. And um, But Eugene Peterson wrote a paraphrase of the Bible, and he called it the message. Um, and I love his paraphrase of this verse. Let me, let me read this to you. Psalm 51 from the message. God, make a fresh start in me. Shape a Genesis week from the chaos of my life. Don't throw me out with the trash or fail to breathe holiness in me. Bring me back from gray exile. Put a fresh wind in my sails. And uh, so I immediately was drawn to that it's with the title Fresh Wind, but, but God breathing life back into us, bringing us out of this gray state that we've been in, making order out of the chaos that's been the last year and a half and, and giving us this, this fresh breath, this fresh start. So one thing I noticed, Dan, um, compared to the recording, you know, Hillsong uh, Worship did this song and and put this one out, and they put it on an album, and they sing it in their live performances. And for us, you know, doing these virtual recordings, we had to record it a little different. So what were some of the uh, ways that you adapted this song to fit with more of that virtual recording? Right. No, thank you, Andy. My goodness, uh, where to start? Well... I'll try to focus on just a, a few specific things. Number one, uh, uh, so we have male lead vocal in our group. Right. And so I had to find a key that would work. Original key is C, and we do it in E. Uh, and the other thing is that there is a section in the tag where... Um, in the original recording, it's pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. There's a response yeah, the back and e- forth. Like an echo. An echo. And we don't usually do that kind of thing in terms of the way our band is structured here. Right. Uh, so I chose to put it in the strings. So mm-hmm. we've got the cello and the violin as we have um, in the last uh, several months. And we sing pour your spirit out, but I have the strings play pour your spirit out. And they're playing it with, uh, with um, I think I put um, sixth and fourth intervals, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm not looking at the score, but that's what I did. That's the, the first thing that's like really different is that when you get there, you're going to hear us sing it, and then you're going to hear the strings uh, play. And, and, and that's, that's, that's kind of an interesting way to use strings uh, where they're not just playing background figures, but they're actually contributing Right to you know to There's what's this, happening. This really cool interplay between the strings and the vocals. I right think there. so. Yeah, I think that's an interesting way to you know to use um, uh, what I'll just call like auxiliary instruments, because you could easily record the song without yeah. strings, but adding them in, what are you going to do? Are mm-hmm. they just holding notes? Are they are they are they doing things that are somehow actively contributing? Like I said to the uh, to the song. Uh, the other thing that. Let me see, what else did I do? I didn't change much, but I did add the piano figure again at the end. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't remember exactly what some of the original recordings do, but I did add um, the figure at the end with some alternate uh, string parts uh, since I... They end it, at least on this chart, which is a simple pour your spirit out. And we did that, but we tacked on an extra four bars. I felt like it, it, the arrangement could use that, um, yeah. just, you know, just, just like a bookend. Right. That's just something that I really like, like doing um, on that specifically. Those, those are some more specific things, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was a lot of fun recording this one. I just think there's so many really great musical moments in there. Um, Maybe talk a little bit, Dan, about uh, 
know, the verses are, are, are this very kind of short, lots of words uh, in the verses and how that plays then into the chorus and especially then into the bridge. Certainly, uh, this, is, this is one of the uh, standouts in this style for sure. The verses have a 16th note based um, uh, ostinato like pattern uh, between an F sharp and an E uh, and, uh, um, it, and then uh, an E and a D sharp. And it, uh, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, but, got, da, 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 It's this repetitive 16 note syncopated um, pattern. And it's so effective when it pays off mm. in this beautiful, we need a fresh wind. Yeah. The fragrance of heaven for your spirit. That's such a payoff moment. It feels like, you know, as a listener, I'm really ready to hear that, ready to just let it sit on that fresh wind, uh, fragrance of heaven, pour your spirit out, where you go from singing all these complex rhythms to something that's 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 more open and, yeah. and, and dare I say, a little simpler mm -hmm. on purpose so that it, it has a nice balance um, between those things. And then uh, the other thing melodically that I couldn't help but notice is in the bridge, uh, when we sing, let all the redeemed prophesy and sing, we can hear the wind blowing. Uh, so this is in the key of E for us. And uh, this is something I don't see very often um, hmm. in some of, the, uh, um, some of the contemporary worship songs. And that is the use of a direct uh, pentatonic scale. Uh, pentatonic scale, penta is in five. It's a five note scale. Um, uh, it, it, if you start it on, you know, on a C major chord, it's just C, D, E, G, and A, three notes. It's the same notes of the C major scale. You just uh, uh, don't, don't play the fourth and the seventh. That's a pentatonic scale and you can find those everywhere. You find those in Japanese music, uh, very particularly like the uh, uh, Kodo is sometimes tuned like that so you can hear that. So I noticed that right away uh, and um, it's certainly not the easiest thing to sing mm -hmm. because uh, it starts on the, uh, in this case it starts on the sixth, the C sharp of E, but um, the chords harmonize uh, uh, against the repetitive pattern of the descending pentatonic scale and I think that makes yet another balance right. between the verse and the choruses. So if you're listening to this and you're wondering about that, just get on a piano or something and just play a major scale and then only play the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth note. And that is a pentatonic scale. Uh, and you can certainly use that anywhere. But th anyway, those are the some of the standout aspects. The only other one I'll add, Andy, is uh, in the in the uh, the chorus, uh, when we sing, pour your spirit out, it's a, that is a flat six mm -hmm. melody note over a, uh, over a six minor. So in our key, the key of E, the six minor being C sharp minor seven, uh, the actual fifth note of that chord is a G sharp. You're playing that on the guitar. Right. And I'm even playing a little bit of that on the piano temporarily, but the melody all of a sudden jumps to an A. And uh, you got to let you, you got, somebody's got to switch yeah. to make that not sound completely wrong. Um, so the key is that some people switch and some people don't. So we're all singing an A. The cello's playing an A. Violin, I think, is playing around the C sharp with passing notes, and then you're playing a C sharp voicing, yep. which has a little bit of that crunch in there. Uh, that happens in Living Hope and a few other songs that we've done. Um, it's a really wonderful thing. It also happens in Here for You. Uh, maybe you'll oh, praise the name. Uh, it's a really cool thing. So uh, if you're working on music um, and you're using what I would call more conventional chord patterns like these, uh, the, um, the one, four, six, and five chords, uh, in this case, when you get to uh, the sixth chord, you can uh, raise the fifth or flat the sixth, same note, whatever you do. And you can find some interesting ideas there, but I think it particularly uh, pushes the, 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 um, the melody even stronger because what we sing is pour your spirit out. Yeah. And that's a strong place to use that musical concept because the musically it, 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 it draws your attention because right. it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, like a suspended fourth or 
a suspended second, um, but it just it just takes you away from the conventional chord patterns that we're used to hearing temporarily. So anyway, that's the only other thing I wanted to add yeah. was um, was how great I think that is uh, and how well it's used. You know, and in, in making that connection then between the composition and, and the lyrics to what you're singing, you know, pour your spirit out. Um, it's it's unknown. It's unexpected what's going to happen when the Holy Spirit pours its its love out on us and and then we go and, and respond with that you know it's not always kind of that that pattern that that we might be used to it's yes. it's, it's it's stepping out and doing new things you know like that first pentecost moment who would have ever thought that these people would have been speaking tongues and, and languages that they've never spoken before and that thousands of of people would be baptized and and, and mm-hmm. become believers that day and and so you know i think it matches so well with with the with the, you know, no pun intended here, the spirit of this song. Um, because really this song is all about that spirit, you know, and, and that same spirit that was there from Genesis, the Genesis story, you know, the spirit of God hovering over the, the darkness, hovering over the waters, all the way to Revelation, the spirit of God that's present when, when Christ returns. And, and that same spirit is alive in us today as we sing these words, as, as, you know, as we gather as the church, but also as, as those that gather at home watching on the screen. Um, that same spirit is active and alive and, and doing things that we can never predict, um, but that we can only pray pour your spirit out and, and then then lead me and guide me. Um, and so uh, just a really, really powerful song. Um, and, uh, you know, one, one other lyric that I want to just touch on in that chorus, um, you know, we need a fresh wind, the fragrance of heaven. And I, I remember first hearing that and like fragrance of heaven, that's a, that's kind of an odd, odd uh, lyric there. But um, it's a reference then to Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, that says, uh, for we are to God a sweet fragrance, the pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. Um, and so it's a really powerful call to churches, to believers, to communities of faith, um, to be a sweet aroma, a sweet fragrance, not some, you know, nasty stench that's going to turn people off, but that is rather going to attract people um, because what we have to offer, the, the love of God, the, the presence of God um, is so attractive and so life-giving and the same for that spirit. Um, you know, there's this verse in, in Job chapter 33, uh, verse 4, that says, The Spirit of God has made me, the breath of the Almighty gives me life. And so when I think of the Spirit, I think of this life-giving thing that's in me that propels me to go in, and do acts of love, to, um, to care for others, to uh, step out of my comfort zone even, and, and do big things. And it kind of touches on that um, in verse 4. Uh, so we, the church who bear your light, lamp of flame, city bright, king and kingdom is come is what we pray. Um, and that's then a reference to, to Matthew chapter 5, just uh, right after the Sermon on the Mount. He's, he's talking about uh, how we are a, a, the light of the world, um, a city on a hill, and we shouldn't hide that light. Instead, we should, we should let it shine for everyone to see. Um, and that by shining that light and others seeing it, they might praise God. And I think that's ultimately the work of the church is, is to, to glorify God, to go out and shine that light wherever you may be so that others might see it and, and praise God as well. Beautiful. Andy, thanks for, uh, as usual, um, really putting some strong thought into, um, into this. And, and I'm hoping that the folks that were listening to this and checking this out, um, uh, if you're interested more and in what's going on with this music, uh, um, uh, you can do that. Um, dig deep into the lyrics and and check out where um, where these messages uh, are are being called from, where uh, uh, where uh, where the the source of some of this material is, because right. it's it's really fascinating and it makes it uh, it makes it an, an even larger, uh, more meaningful experience to uh, to sing these right and to and to uh, figure out what the instruments are doing uh, when we're uh, putting out these messages. Uh, So Andy, I know that uh, our next episode of this, I'm not sure when it's going to be. So for those listening, maybe sometime towards the end of the summer. Uh, But we are expecting, assuming that we don't have any significant 
changes and things happening in the world, we're yeah. expecting to possibly be coming back and doing some services in September. Right. And uh, we'll be looking at that. So I think it's uh, going to be very likely that uh, uh, that we will be doing a lot of these arrangements uh, now and in, in, uh, in fellowship with everyone else uh, the way I think they're intended. Yeah. Right. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And we also want to um, thank Matt Hardy for um, all of his work. Matt, you can't see him right now on uh, on camera, but he is right behind. And he sets up all these fancy lights and cameras and makes it really easy for us right. to do it. So thank you, Matt, <laughs> yes. for uh, your efforts here. Uh, everyone listening, please enjoy the summer. Um, you know, wherever you're going to be, please be safe with everything you're doing. Uh, we're going to start live streaming here on June 13th. Hopefully, you know, that's going to work out. And we're looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing all of you back here on campus um, as the weeks and months progress. And, uh, and Andy, um, you have a great rest of your summer. Yeah. And, um, you too, Dan. Yeah. And, uh, and we are looking forward to seeing everybody back soon. And, uh, and please enjoy now the most recent recording that the Praise Band has done of Hillsong Worship's Fresh Wind. Bye, everybody. Bye. Spirit sound, rushing wind, the fire of God to fall within. Holy Ghost, to breathe on us, we pray. As we repent, to turn from sin, revival embers smoldering. Breath of God, to fan us into flame. We need a fresh wind, the fragrance of heaven, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. For hearts that burn. Holy fear, purified in faith and deep, refiner's fire, strengthen what remains. So we the church who bear your light, lamp of flame, city bright, kingdom, kingdom, come is what we pray. But we need a fresh wind. Fragrance of heaven, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out, a holy anointing, the power of your presence, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. Pour your spirit out, 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 pour your spirit out. Let all the redeemed prophesy and sing. We can hear. of heaven, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out, a 
holy anointing, the power of your presence, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. 